Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is traditional African religions at the 21st century. And we have with us to talk about traditional African religions at the uh, 21st uh, century, uh, Dr. Leonard Madhu, our resident expert on everything that is African, Middle East, uh, South America, and other areas, which is to say that, Dr. Madhu, that uh, our audience uh, should be quite familiar with you and mm -hmm. what you bring to uh, this show. And I know we are anxiously anticipating the information that you have in reference to traditional African religions mm -hmm. at the 21st century. Why don't you start us off, Dr. Madhu, by giving us some information in reference to these uh, so-called traditional African religions. Well, thank you, thank you. I'm pleased to be here again. You know, this is very important the 21st century to talk about traditional African religion. Uh, before the slave traders came, before the colonizers came, before Islam came, you know, there was a religion worshipped by a predominance of, 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 of black Africans mm -hmm. in Africa. You know, when the slave traders came, uh, they didn't see any crucifix. Mm -hmm. You know, when the Muslims came, they didn't see any Quran. Mm -hmm. You know, and so on and so forth. But Africans had their own religion, mm -hmm. born out of their culture. Mm -hmm. Now, because of the misunderstanding, you know, uh, when the colonizers came, uh, they gave it some a whole lot of derogatory, mm -hmm. you know, names: hedonism, mm -hmm. animism, paganism. Mm -hmm ancestor worship, etc., etc. But it's not of the above. This is an authentic religion that grew out of people's culture and experiences. Uh, just like uh, Islam grew up, grew up in Arabia, you know, this Arabic culture, Christianity grew up in the Middle East, the Europe. Mm -hmm. Africans had their own way of worship. Mm -hmm. And one can say, what is traditional African religion in essence? A uh, simply East main thrust unlike Christianity, is the well-being of the human being today, not in future salvation. You know, unlike Christianity, which has uh, the Bible, uh, Islam, which has the Quran, or uh, Judaism, which has the Torah, the traditional African religion do not have any of these uh, creeds. Its expression arises out of myths, rituals, shrines, and oral traditions. You know, that's how the message is spread. <coughs> it has no papers or books. And like most other religions, it has its own core beliefs in reincarnation, divine mm -hmm. healership, uh, exorcism, you know, in the supreme being. Mm -hmm. All these are part of the beliefs, you know, witchcraft. All these are part of the beliefs of traditional African religions. Now, before the turn of the century, before 1910, 1920s, a predominance of Africans we are traditional religionists. Mm -hmm. Now, after the 1920s, there was a massive evangelization, you know, process by mm -hmm. Christians and, and, and Muslims. Mm -hmm. Now, today, though you have, you know, a majority of Africans, quote, worshipping, you know, in Christianity or Islam, over 10% of the population in Africa still firmly are re traditional religious mm -hmm. belie you know, so believers. So it's, it's a, a, a mm -hmm. minority of 10, but perhaps 10, 10 percent of the African um, population exactly, across the continent. Exactly, a significant number, over mm -hmm. over over 100 million. Yeah, when you talk about 10 percent of that, that huge, yeah. exactly, over mm -hmm. over over 100 million. Mm -hmm. uh, Christians are about 500 million in Africa, uh, in Black Africa, uh, about. 21% of the Christian population in the world. Mm -hmm. Muslims are about 150 million in black Africa, mm -hmm. which, which tells you that traditional African religion is almost mm -hmm. close by, mm -hmm. you know. So this is, you know, mm -hmm. the basic tenet mm -hmm. of, of, of this religion. Mm -hmm. Like Islam, the traditional African religion is a, a whole, you know, whole way of living, a whole way of life. You know, it believes in the sun, the moon, its effects, how they eat, how what they drink, mm -hmm. and it has its own moral code. You know, you have the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. Traditional African religion also has its moral code mm -hmm. that are enforced, mm -hmm. you know, by by the priests mm -hmm. in, in the rural areas. 
like Christianity and Islam, it, it also has its own priest. If you've heard of the, the oracles and, and, the, and, the, and the priest, the high priest in the village, it has a, its own priest. Now, like those religions that have huge, you know, churches and mosques and... Dr. Moody, let, let us take this first commercial break. And, mm -hmm. of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short our commercial break. Second segment of the show for today.